Did you know that the right phone sales tonality can increase your close rate by as much as 90%? Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use tone and inflection to close more sales from your existing leads. And this works, and I know it works, because clients tell us all the time. In fact, I was working recently with a client, Gladys, who shared with me exactly what an impact it had had on her. Now, she thought she had been using everything we teach uh, until she submitted a call for a review. If you'd like a review on one of your calls, click the link in the description box below. But she did just that, and what she found out was it wasn't what she was saying, but how she was saying it. And in fact, she had only closed one out of her last 33 calls. But after making some minor tweaks to what she was saying, and how she was saying it, she was actually able to increase her close rate and has now closed nine of her last 14 calls. That's a huge difference. And she attributes that to what I'm teaching you here in this video today. Now, if you like this video, make sure to click the like button. If you think somebody else you know could use this video, make sure to share it. And of course, if you wanna be notified the next time a video comes available, make sure to click the subscribe button so that you're notified by the little notification bell in the corner. Okay, so today I'm gonna to hit you with the two by four. I wanna share with you two inflections and four frames that you wanna make sure that you have on every single one of your sales calls. So let's start with the inflections first. Chris Voss talks about these in his book, Never Split the Difference. And I think this is a great place to start because he talks about the inquisitive inflection as well as the declarative, all right? The inquisitive is genuine curiosity. You wanna understand the situation. You wanna understand the problem. You're really just looking to learn more. But the declarative is really the inflection you use when you're just trying to state a fact. So an example of this is someone says to you, she doesn't listen to me. Well, if you want the person to go on, you may use that more inquisitive inflection, something like, mm, she doesn't listen to you? Versus if you're just trying to move on and state that you understood what was heard, you would say, oh, she doesn't listen to you. Now, I basically said the same thing, but one encourages the person you're talking to to go on and to give you more. The other just lets them know that you've understood them. So those are the two inflections that you're gonna really wanna make sure that you understand and are using throughout your sales calls. In addition to those two inflections, there's four frames that you wanna be using as well. Okay, so the four frames are really important as well. That's confidence, conviction, empathy, and curiosity. So those are the four frames that you wanna make sure that you've got on every sales call. So let's start with confidence. So the first thing with confidence is really sitting up, right? It's being, almost think of it as being a little bit playful because you're, you're confident. Uh, think of it like if you're, uh, if you're dating and, uh, and you're kind of sink down in your chair and you're sort of shy and your voice is kind of quiet and you know that, that's gonna signal to the prospect that you're talking to that you're not really certain that you can help them or that you're not really a, a leader who's gonna be confident enough to help them get the results that they wanna get in working with you. So that confidence is going to put little you know, bells in their head that make them say, hmm, something's not right here, I don't know why. But when you're, confidence and when you're confident and you're sitting up straight, when you're willing to be a little bit playful, when you're, when you're not nervous, uh, not only uh, in the dating game are you gonna attract more of the right people that you wanna, wanna get to know, same thing with your prospects. They're gonna feel comfortable with you. They're gonna feel at ease because of your confidence and your leadership. So make sure that even if you're on a sales call, even if you're on the phone, make sure that you are sitting up, that you've got a smile on your face, that you are uh, in, a, in a feeling, in, in a, place of leadership versus sinking down into your chair and talking really quiet. Okay, so that's the confidence piece. And then conviction is really important. Okay, and this is really about just not waffling. And one of the places that I find people lose conviction the most is when they talk about price. When the prospect asks, what's the cost? What's this gonna set me back? And all of a sudden they start to waffle. Well, uh, you know, well, usually what we do is, you know, we charge this much, uh, but I mean, I could break that up into a few payments and, you know, is that too much for you? And, and they start to like waffle a little bit. And again, they lose their confidence, they lose their conviction. So I find price is the place that we do that the most. So make sure that you're, you've got conviction in everything you say. If you're gonna say something to a prospect, make sure that you believe it. Make sure that you're certain that it's something you really wanna say. And of course, this comes with practice. One of the 
things that you're going to do to get better at your sales calls is to put in the reps. So be looking for both confidence and conviction. In addition, and this is one of the biggest things, especially in our authentic enrollment sales process, is empathy. It's actually putting yourself into your prospect's shoes and understanding their situation from their point of view, walking the walk that they've walked, okay? Now, a great example of the frame that you're gonna use when it comes to empathy is uh, when somebody is talking about a situation and you've heard them, but maybe it's time to move on to the next thing you still want to acknowledge what they've said. You know, you know an example of that, they've told you something really difficult uh, that they've been struggling with. You know, just a simple, hmm, okay, yeah, uh, that, 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 I can imagine that would be hard. You know, just giving them some, significate, sig- some way of signifying that you understood what they've said. Uh, so empathy is really important, not only putting yourself in their shoes and really trying to see things from their point of view, but making sure to use that tone of empathy uh, in conversing with the person that you're speaking with. And then when it comes to uh, curiosity, which is really going to be the, the thing that you use the most in your sales calls, because you need to understand their perspective, their point of view. Now. As you're working with a client, their point of view may not be totally correct. They might be looking at the situation wrong, but you want to be curious about the situation. You don't want to just tell them that they're wrong. You want to ask questions to help them to see from a different perspective what might be going on. And this really gets back to the inquisitive inflection, okay? But more than anything, you just need to be genuinely curious. You know, who is the client that you're talking to? What do they really want? Why haven't they gotten it yet? Are they someone that you really want to help? Can you help them? Uh, I mean, are, are they somebody that you would even really enjoy helping? Dig in until you really fully understand the situation of the person that you're talking to, who they are, where they are, as well as where they want to be. If this was helpful, put helpful in the comments below this video so that that way I know to make more content just like this. Subscribe so that you get notified by the little notification bell in the corner. Like this video if it was helpful for you and make sure to share this video with anybody that you think could use it. And if you did like this video and you want more help and an in-depth training that I just dropped on this topic as well as other pieces of the sales process that you need to succeed in making sales from your existing leads, you can get access to that by clicking in the link in the description box just below this video.